Scandals involving private military contractors hired by the U.S. are springing up. Police in Pakistan have raided a security firm that protects the U.S. Embassy, reportedly seizing 70 unlicensed weapons and arresting two people. For more, let's cross live now to Artis Priya Shrida, who is in our Washington studio. Hello to you, Priya. Well, and over to you. Hi there. Well, we've been hearing about all kinds of naughty behavior by private contractors over in Afghanistan. But now it seems like there's a new wave of private contractors hitting the streets of Pakistan. And surprise, surprise, with these private contractors comes scandal. And here to talk about it with me is RT contributor and investigative journalist Wayne Madsen. Wayne, thanks so much for joining me. So I know you found out something about the U.S. Embassy in Pakistan and some Islamabad police had done a raid. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Well, apparently the U.S. Embassy in Islamabad contracted with a local Pakistani security company called Inter-Risk Security, headed up by a retired Pakistani army captain who, uh, by the way, attended uh, courses in Fort Benning and a U.S. Secret Service course in this country. He seems to be very, very close to the uh, uh, Americans, but his uh, offices were raided. Uh, the Islamabad police carried away over 70 uh, unlicensed uh, weapons, including uh, rifles, uh, assault weapons, and pistols. Also seized computer equipment and files. Uh, they had a, uh, they arrested him. Uh, apparently, was released under strong pressure from the U.S. Embassy and from certain high-level Pakistani government officials. And I know this scandal kind of wasn't just limited to the private contractors in Pakistan. On it. There was also something going on with, was it the American ambassador in Pakistan? The American ambassador to Pakistan, Ann Patterson, has a very interesting background. She formerly was the U.S. ambassador in, in Colombia, and we know that uh, she was there when there were a lot of scandals involving private military contractors in that country. Uh, ostensibly under this plan Columbia, which changed from being counter-narcotics and counter-insurgency directed basically against the FARC and the, uh, the drug lords in Colombia. But uh, there were many scandals under her uh, watch in Bogota, and now she's in Islamabad, and here we have more scandals. And uh, inter-risk, uh, it's being reported in the Pakistani press that they may have some links to training uh, retired Pakistani military and security forces along with Z, which is the former Blackwater. So what's going on? You know, we've talked a lot about these private contractors over in Afghanistan, but why all of a sudden are we starting to hear about them in Pakistan? It seems like they're also, um, I, I think you mentioned there are some ads that were coming out about, you know, trying to hire more private contractors in Pakistan. What are they doing over there, and why all of a sudden are we hearing about Well, them? it's clear that what we're seeing here is a slow invasion of Pakistan, not with U.S. military or British military uniformed individuals, but through uh, private military contractors, private security contractors. Uh, so uh, the NATO commander in Afghanistan, General McChrystal, said he needs more troops and he needs a strategy. It seems like there is no strategy. Is, is the intention to limit uh, U.S. and NATO involvement to uh, Afghanistan? Because it looks like it's bleeding rapidly over into Pakistan, which opens up a whole new can of worms. And so what's the problem with these private contractors? Why is, do, are we always hearing about some sort of scandal or naughty behavior? and how can the United States monitor them? Is that possible? Essentially, no military chain of command, no accountability, no uh, military good order and discipline amongst these private contractors. The rank structure basically disappears. These are soldiers, uh, basically soldiers of fortune, mercenaries. And uh, so the, the order and discipline you see with the military breaks down when people are being paid uh, a lot of money uh, to do these, uh, to perform these functions. And that's why we're seeing uh, scandals in both Kabul and now in Isla Islamabad. And uh, we'll probably see uh, and hear about other uh, scandals as these mercenaries uh, flood into uh, Pakistan. Well, as always, we'll certainly keep you updated on all this uh, situation in, in Pakistan. But for now, back to you in Moscow. Thanks. That's RT's Priya Shridhar talking to investigative journalist Wayne Matson.